There once was a day, a long time ago, before I actually knew what a budget really was. I really didn't know at all what a budget actually was. And I was sick and tired of doing a budget and I just wanted to slam duck my budget into the trash can and throw everything off and I'm so tired of it. I hate budgets! I was so over having a budget. I just wanted to be done with it. I had major budget burnout. Do you want to know what the secret is to completely avoiding budget burnout? When I tell you that I don't get budget burnout anymore, that is the truth, yo. I'm not lying. And I want to share with you the secret I use to make that happen. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys, I'm Brittany from Pennies Into Pearls. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. This is where I talk all about living a beautiful life on any budget. It doesn't matter your income. I want you to dream big, live beautiful, and save lots of money. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any money saving, money making, personal finance tips, but also I love to share tips and ideas on DIY, home decor ideas, a little bit of thrifting, Dollar Tree, anything that has to do with living frugal and fabulous, you will find that right here on this channel, so don't forget to hit subscribe. This video is in collaboration with a bunch of other really awesome YouTubers, and it's all put together from Sarah from Budget Girl, I will have links down below so you can go check out all those other awesome videos. And Sarah, thank you so much for putting this together. It was a great idea. So the secret to completely avoiding budget burnout is not complicated. And in fact, it is actually fun. And that's the secret, F-U-N, fun. You need to budget fun into your budget. What does that mean? That means making a specific category in your budget that is completely separate from everything else and you only use that money for fun things. For our family that involves things like eating out, going to a Padres game, that's baseball, going to the movies, date night, family fun night, all those things are going to be categorized into your fun stuff budget. When your happy tank is full at the end of each paycheck, you are much less likely to be feeling suffocated from your budget. So how much money do you need to set aside for your fun stuff budget? This is going to be completely specific to each individual or to each family's budget. You don't need very much money at all to have a lot of fun. For our family of five, we have a monthly fun budget of $80, which is not a lot, and we stretch that $80 out over the entire month, and that includes date night, paying the babysitter as well, and then also family fun activities that we do throughout the month. You're gonna need to be a little bit creative to make those fun dollars stretch a little bit further, but having a date night out with your hubby doesn't have to be super expensive. You can pay for a babysitter and then maybe go do something else that's really cheap or even free like a picnic or a walk somewhere or go for a hike. There are so many ideas out there. Just do a simple Pinterest search for free date night ideas and you'll be covered. And don't let the thought of a babysitter stop you. One of our new favorite things that we've started is a babysitting swap. So find a friend that might be in the same boat as you who's looking for a babysitter and swap babysitting with them. So one night, you babysit your friend's kids and they get to go out on a date and then maybe the next night or the next weekend you and your hubby get to go out on a date night and your friend's gonna babysit for you. It works out perfectly, so you're welcome. You might be sitting there and thinking, we have stretched our budget as far as it possibly can go, but I'm here to tell you, here there's always some room for some fun. You've got two options, two. One, two. Option number one, look for areas in your budget where you can shave off a little bit of your spending. So places like your groceries, gas. Look for opportunities to walk to places or maybe ride your bike where you might have otherwise driven. You don't need a lot of money, even though you're only cutting $10 off of one part of your budget here and $5 of your budget here, $5 of your budget here, it's all gonna add up and maybe you'll have 50 fun dollars left in your budget. And that $50 is all you need. The second option is to look for ways to supplement your income. Side jobs or side hustle, ways to turn your current hobbies into a little bit of money are all ways to supplement your current income for a little bit of fun money. Again, you don't need a lot. Now who's 
ready to have some fun. I 100% believe that anyone can live a beautiful and fun-filled life on any budget. It's just a matter of figuring out where to fit the fun in and if you can figure that out by using these tips that I talked about today, then you are gonna avoid hitting budget burnout. So now that we've figured out where you're gonna get that extra fun money from, what are you gonna do with your new found fun budget? Any fun date ideas or fun family activities that are free or really cheap? I would love to hear about your ideas um, down in the comments below, so don't forget to leave them there. That's my tip for today, you guys, on how to completely avoid budget burnout. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. And again, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on anything frugal and fabulous to help you live a beautiful life on any budget. Thank you guys so much for joining in, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!